Hey, Wordsmith family, welcome back to the Wordsmith YouTube channel. I'm your host, Carl, the Wordsmith. And today I'm going to be reacting to an artist that I've been wanting to react to for a while now. And I am really delighted to react to Morissette Amon with the song Akin Kanalang. And this is on the Wish bus again. And I've been told this is quite the song. It's quite the jaw dropper. So I'm really looking forward to it. But before we dive in, please show your support by hitting the like button, subscribing and ringing the notification bell so you never miss out on more reactions and vocal analysis videos. I've already done a Morissette Amon reaction and vocal analysis and there are going to be a lot more on the way. And for those who want to support the Wordsmith YouTube channel even further, I would ask you to please consider joining our exclusive Patreon community. By becoming a patron, you'll unlock a world of perks and benefits, including early access to videos, behind the scenes content, and even the chance to influence the content that I create. Check out the link in the description below to join the Wordsmith Patreon family. Speaking of which, a huge thank you to all of our existing patrons. Your support has really fueled my passion and creativity, making it possible for me to bring you content that goes beyond the surface. We couldn't do it without you. So once again, thank you so much. All right, well, that's enough out of me. I've heard so much about the song, so let's dive straight into it. The Wish Bus. Wish. One right on cue. I, I love the fact that she's smiling and she looks like she's genuinely enjoying herself. And I love her tonality. It's one of the best things about her singing. Actually, let's we'll talk through that right now. The thing I love about it is that she just has a great tone. And that's your bread and butter as a singer. Tonality encompasses a multitude of factors that contribute to the quality of a singer's sound. So Morissette has technical prowess and artistic finesse that results in a truly captivating listening experience. So this encompasses elements such as resonance, clarity, intonation, breath control, vibrato, and a myriad of other things. A singer with a gorgeous tone demonstrates not only exceptional vocal technique, but also a deep understanding of how to harness their instrument to convey emotion and artistry through sound. And then beyond technical proficiency lies the realm of expressive and emotive engagement in vocal performance. So when a singer appears to be genuinely enjoying themselves, whether it be on stage or here, like she's sitting down, it transcends mere technical prowess and speaks to a deeper connection with the music and its message. So this genuine enjoyment that I see here is manifested through emotional connection, physical expression, and confidence. So an artist who exudes joy and passion while performing invites the audience into a shared experience, enriching the overall artistic exchange between performer and listener. So in vocal pedagogy, recognizing and nurturing both the technical and expressive dimensions of singing are essential for fostering well-rounded and compelling performers who can captivate audiences with their skill and authenticity. In addition to her other impressive vocal attributes, she also possesses a remarkable vibrato. Vibrato is an oscillation in pitch typically achieved through subtle variations in airflow and tension. It's a hallmark of a skilled vocalist. When executed effectively, vibrato adds depth, warmth, and expressiveness to the sound, enhancing the overall musicality of the performance. Very, very good. All right then, so let's keep it going. Ooh. 
There's that little bit of a vocal break, a little bit of that vocal cry there. Oh, it's more of a squeak, to be honest. And she's just so good with her pacing in the song. You can tell very early on when a singer has a lot in the metaphorical tank. In other words, they're only showing you a little bit. They haven't showed you the full hand just as yet. Occasionally, like, uh, okay, well, in the previous reaction, I didn't notice there's a squeak in her voice. It's a characteristic that some might interpret as a sign of vulnerability or fragility in her voice. However, upon closer examination, it becomes evident that Morissette deliberately incorporates the squeak as a stylistic choice rather than a flaw. Through careful listening, one can discern how she strategically places it within her performance. It adds a unique and compelling element to her vocal delivery. Personally, I love it. I find this intentional use of the squeak quite appealing, as it adds an intriguing texture and authenticity to her singing, further showcasing her artistic versatility and creative expression. So, once again, very, very good. All right, so let's keep it going. Again, she's she's doing this, this, all of this whilst being seated. And let me explain why that's a big deal. So a noteworthy detail that I overlooked mentioning is that she's delivering these remarkable vocal performances while seated. Singing while seated presents unique challenges compared to standing, as it can affect breath support, posture, and overall vocal projection. And yet, despite the constraints of sitting down, she manages to maintain exceptional vocal control, expressiveness, and technical precision. So this speaks volumes about her mastery of vocal technique and her ability to adapt to different performance contexts. Singing while seated requires a heightened awareness of breath management, as well as body alignment to ensure optimal vocal projection. And yet... Due to her skill, she is effortlessly navigating these challenges while delivering a very captivating performance. Okay, apologies for pausing so much, but when you have someone this good, you want to break down everything that she's saying. But let the good times roll. <laughs> Anyone else hearing a lot of Mariah Carey, bit of J-Hud? Anyone? Well, yeah, I am noticing it, but let me clarify what I mean by that. In her singing, I detect unmistakable echoes of Mariah Carey, Jennifer Hudson, and even traces of Whitney Houston's influence here and there. However, it's important for me to say that me recognizing these influences doesn't diminish her originality or unique voice. So instead, what I'm saying is, it highlights her versatility and ability to draw inspiration from renowned vocalists while still imprinting her distinct style onto her performances. Specifically, her vocal placements, melodic flips, and dynamic swells bear resemblance to techniques employed by those artists that I mentioned. Yet, what sets her apart is her individual interpretation and execution of these techniques. She infuses them with her own emotional depth, personal flair, and artistic interpretation, resulting in a sound that is unmistakably hers. Okay, so this performance is seriously ramping up, so let's 
see where it hits. Akin kanalang, akin kanalang, ang dinadasal sa araw-araw. Akin kanalang, akin kanalang, I'm just absolutely love it, especially when she does that flip between chest, head. It's it's so great. She's she is one of the best female vocalists in the world, in my opinion. Um, really, really fantastic. Okay, so this performance is ramping up. So I'm I'm so here for it. I really, really am. <laughs> Like, what? Okay. Sure, why, why not? Okay, so here we go. Whistle tone. The vocal folds are indeed not vibrating. They remain completely still. Instead, the whistle register is produced by the air passing through a very narrow opening between the vocal folds causing the air to create a high-pitched sound akin to blowing across the top of a bottle or flute. So this phenomenon is often referred to as a non-modal or non-phonating register, as it doesn't involve the typical vibration of the vocal fold seen in modal singing. When Morissette Amon sings in that whistle tone, she likely achieves this by carefully controlling the airflow and shaping the resonance within her vocal tract, whilst maintaining the necessary configuration of her vocal folds to create the narrow opening required for the sound to occur. This is a delicate balance of airflow and vocal fold positioning, and it allows her to produce the characteristic piercing and flute-like sound associated with the whistle tone. So when it comes to teaching whistle tone, it does remain very challenging as an endeavor due to its specialized nature and the unique physiological requirements involved. While some singers may possess a natural aptitude for accessing the whistle register, Others may require extensive vocal training and guidance from a skilled vocal coach to develop this ability. But for me personally, it's important to just approach the exploration of whistle tone with caution and prioritize vocal health and technique rather than the learning process. So while not everyone may be able to master whistle tone, vocal training can still yield significant improvements in overall vocal technique, range, and control, and that'll enhance a singer's ability and artistic expression in other registers. So each singer's voice is unique, and it's essential to tailor vocal training to an individual's needs and goals while ensuring proper vocal care and technique. Okay, let's get back to it. There was actually a bit of a smile she gave after hitting that note, the whistle tone, to say like, yeah, I nailed that. And she's just gonna keep on singing. Great. Oh, it's so good. So, Morissette Mon's vocal prowess, it's, I mean, it's something else. It's evident 
in the short intervals of grit that you would have heard, she effortlessly infuses it into her singing. And grit refers to a raspy or growly quality in the voice, often associated with an intense emotion or powerful expression. So Morissette's ability to incorporate these gritty moments adds depth and authenticity to her performances. And once again, it shows her versatility and her emotional range as a singer. And she's just really excellent. Furthermore, her belting technique is nothing short of flawless. The belt is this powerful singing style characterized by a strong resonant vocal projection in the upper chest voice. So Morissette's mastery of this technique allows her to deliver commanding and impactful performances, captivating audiences with her commanding presence and sheer vocal power. It's good. All right, Morissette, bring us home. If if she does something even more insane, I'm I'm well. I've already lost it. I was gonna say I'm gonna lose it, but I've lost it already. I don't know what it is, but I've lost it. Back down. Very difficult to do. On Wish 107.5 Why not? <laughs> because you can. So why wouldn't you? Okay, like... Uh. She just demonstrates an exceptional control of vocal dynamics, even in her whistle register. And when I talk about dynamics, I'm just referring to the variation in volume and intensity within a musical performance. But despite the inherent challenges of the whistle register, Morissette displays an unprecedented level of comfort and mastery when she's that high, effortlessly navigating the extremes of softness and intensity with precision and control. And this level of vocal control speaks to her exceptional technical skills and innate musicality, and it sets her apart from the majority of singers in the world. So to give you some final thoughts, Morissette and Mon's performance is a testament to her exceptional talent, her artistry, her versatility. And throughout this performance, she effortlessly showcases a wide range of vocal techniques and styles. It's, it's so captivating for me, as even as a virtual audience member, with her powerful voice and emotive delivery. From her flawless belt technique to her adept control of vocal dynamics, she just, she just shows a remarkable command over that beautiful instrument that she has. She just does with it as she pleases through various registers effortlessly with those gritty moments, the whistle register, and it's all authentic. It's all naturally her. Furthermore, her comfort and mastery up in that whistle register, I don't know of anyone that can do it like that. I really don't. So beyond her vocal prowess, Morissette's performances so far that I've seen are infused with just passion, emotion, it's deeply engaging, it's memorable for me, and definitely for you guys, I would say. And whether she's delivering a soulful ballad or high-energy pop anthem, she'll just captivate you. She's honestly one of the best I have heard. Just really amazing. And in essence, Morissette Amon's performance is a tour de force of vocal excellence artistic expression, and emotional resonance where she just continues to mesmerize audiences with her extraordinary talent and remains a shining star in the world of music. Thank you for tuning in to this epic performance by Morissette Amon. If you enjoyed my reaction and analysis, please do show some love by hitting the like button, subscribing, and sharing this video with fellow musicians and music enthusiasts. 
For exclusive content and to support my channel, please do consider becoming a patron. Your support keeps the song playing, it keeps the channel going, and I deeply appreciate every single one of you for whatever support that you bring forward. Until next time, be kind, be loving, be gentle to one another, and help each other out when you can. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Yeah.